What's up guys, Classy Metal here. Um, I know this is my second video for the day. I'm actually doing good getting some of these out of the way. I had a package come in today, so I figured this was as good time as any to uh, go ahead and record this and try to get caught up a little bit. I have some other uh, updates to show you guys eventually as well that I need to uh, get videos for. But uh, I ordered all of these CDs that I just got from an eBay seller called Vinyl Asylum. I've ordered from them uh, a few times before. They specialize in uh, used CDs, DVDs, and uh, even vinyl records. Uh, usually all their auctions start at 99 cents around that area. And uh, I found some pretty hard to come by stuff and I've gotten pretty good deals on that over, over my time of uh, purchasing through them. They had a CD come up that I've been meaning to pick up for years and uh, I finally jumped on it on uh, these auctions and I, with the combined shipping rates I went ahead and I picked up some other stuff as well. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can check out their uh, their eBay auctions as well because like I said uh, usually you can get some stuff pretty cheap and uh, the combined shipping is pretty awesome on it. So uh, that being said the first album that uh, I, the one that caused me to order this this whole order was uh, Iomi by uh, Tony Iomi from Black Sabbath uh, there's a song on this where uh, he collaborates with Peter Steele of Typo Negative called Just Say No for, Just Say No to Love, which I absolutely love. Been meaning to pick this this CD up for ages, so I'm definitely happy that uh, it's a part of my collection now. Uh, the next one I scored for 99 cents, which was a super steal on this. Uh, not my favorite band in the world, but at this price, at that price, I couldn't pass this EP up. This is uh, the first press of I Wrestled a Bear Once, uh, self-titled. Like I said, it was 99 cents, so I could not bid on it. There we go. Uh, next up, I got a DVD sampler. It's a five-song DVD sampler from Rush from their greatest hits. Um, the Chronicles, Rush Chronicles DVD. So... I don't know how many people are fans of Rush on uh, on my channel, but definitely a worthwhile pickup for me. Like I said, I believe that one was 99 cents as well. Uh, next up, we have some post metal. I picked up uh, Russian Circles. Uh, the name of this one is uh, Impros, I believe. Also picked up some other Russian Circles disc in this as well, as you will see. I have uh, Enter. Not a super big fan of the, the packaging on this one. It's just that uh, real thin, digi, almost uh, mimics a vinyl where the CD just stays in there and gets scratched to pieces. So I'm not going to show the CD because I don't want to risk uh, scratching it up. And I picked up their uh, Memorials album as well from the same band, Russian Circles. I apologize if I have lag on this one as well. It's getting choppy on the on the screen that I'm watching, so my voice may get distorted on this. I have a new computer, which I am currently in the process of getting set up, so hopefully these uh, the video quality will get a little bit better in the very near future. Uh, next up was a blind purchase. I've never uh, listened to this band. I actually forgot that I ordered this one with this order. Like I said, uh, this one was 99 cents as well. This is Otherwise with uh, True Love Never Dies. The name of this. I, I guess it's a promo copy as it has a whole bunch of that barcode. I still haven't listened to it or checked them out yet. So I saw that they were on Century Media Records. And uh, when I saw it was 99 cents, I figured I would take a gamble on it. So maybe it'll be good. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it'll be garbage. Uh, next up, I guess I kind of got in uh, touch with my feminine side a little bit. I have a Great Northern with uh, Trading Twilight for Daylight. Some uh, indie pop. Not in the best shape on the digipack. Looks like somebody set a drink down on there and left a ring on that. I'm kind of pissed about that but it was uh and they're all used so sometimes crap like that happens uh the next one is one that i another one that i'm super excited to find on this uh and it appears it's still sealed so that's definitely a good score on this for me this is a self-titled album came out last year this is a ghost ship Oct ghost ship octavius 
Uh, they're kind of a uh, progressive type metal. And uh, I absolutely, I've checked this uh, this album out, and I absolutely fell in love with it. So I was super excited to get it in in this uh, in this box here. So uh, next up, this one didn't come with a um, jewel case. This is a sleeping giant there we go. with um, dread champions of the last days. The liner on that's pretty beat up but it was uh like i said it was 99 cents so as long as the disc is in good playing shape i'm not gonna get too too bent out of shape uh next up we have a uh, wavering radiant by isis some more uh, post metal type stuff didn't have this uh isis release in my collection i saw it was going so cheap so i went ahead and uh hopped on this one as well again it's in that kind of lousy fold out digi case so but I love the artwork on this and uh, the last one that I got in this is uh, some death kind of thrash metal death thrashy type stuff uh, this is a necromantheon with a divinity of death What's the name of this release it uh I know some of these didn't look like they were in the best shape, but I, I saw the pictures online and bid on them anyway in that shape. Uh, if you're kind of worried about that and you were going to look, and they have pretty detailed uh, photos of each of the items that are uh, up for bid, so you'll know you you'll know ahead of time what you're getting if you decide to throw a bid. But that's all I've got for this video. Thanks you guys for watching. I should have some updates coming uh, here pretty soon. I can get some of this other stuff picked up and uh, start showing it off in some videos. And hopefully I'll have be on the new computer so I can uh, cut this lag out that's been going on. As always, thanks for the likes, thanks for the subs, and I'll see you guys next time.